So I believe that I believe that we are now. Yeah, but it's gonna take like forty seconds before it misses us. Should be ten seconds. No, it takes a while. You didn't have the settings set up that we just set up. Here. Mm. You put the keyframe to one or zero or something. One, one, and then like a few. I other. think I have it set to one. I have it either one or two. I have whatever. I think it was around like ten. Yeah, cool. yeah. You did, so you did do that. It's, you did it's either one or two. <laughs> it's definitely not higher than two. It's one. Okay, um, I see it. I don't channel. remember. It must have changed it from two seventeen to viewers. I I to be seventeen viewers already. already. Okay. Okay. Well, I think we're live. I believe everyone can hear us. I'm pulling it up on my computer here. It's like a 15, 20 second delay. Yeah. <laughs> the data has to get to all the different. Yeah. All right. All right. Funny. We're doing it. I'm just going to follow along on yours. I'm so I'm pulling excited. up the chat so that yeah. I can see the, uh, see the questions. Why don't we start? Why don't we go ahead and start? Because one of the first questions we got here from Mattiator was just for us uh, to all introduce ourselves and tell everyone what, what you do. What's your role at the company? And also, what do you work? Uh, what do you work on? Do you work more on library or, or on Odyssey? Uh, let's go in a circle. We could start. Actually, why don't uh, Grin? Why don't you go first and also tell people the difference between library and Odyssey? Sure. So my name is Grin. Um, I work on both um, library and Odyssey. Um, library is a protocol. You can think of library as something like HTTP. Um, a protocol is a way the computers talk to each other, and library is decentralized. The library has a set of rules that you have to follow to participate in it, um, and you can use library. You can think of it like a tool to create other things. So Odyssey is something that you can create on top of library. Odyssey is a site where you can watch videos. It's um, it's built on top of library, so whatever you publish gets published on library. Um, but it is also pretty separate. I think in the past we've uh, we've kind of our messaging has been that they're they're basically the same, or that Odyssey is built by Library, and we're trying to create um, even more separation. Library is a protocol. Library is kind of like Bitcoin, and Odyssey is kind of like Coinbase. It's a you know normal company that happens to use a decentralized protocol as part of the thing it does. So uh, I guess we should go in a circle. We can go this way. Go around for introductions. Sure. Hey guys, Tom Zeruption here. A lot of you probably know me. So I'm, I'm working closely with a lot of people in the community and you see me active on social. Um, but I also work with, with uh, the library tech team here um, internally, uh, provide the, a lot of the customer support um, and, and just helping liaison things between the other teams at Odyssey and library. So yeah, for me it's a little bit of both. I'm Jessup. I work on the uh, front end app, uh, which is used on the library and Odyssey at the moment. Um, Got to be here. Uh, hi, I'm Roy. Uh, I'm part of the blockchain team, team, which is more on the library side. My name is Brandon King. I also work on blockchain on library. I worked for library several years and also do some PhD work at Virginia Tech these days. I'm here. I'm the I'm Jeremy. I'm the CEO, but I'm mostly staying out of this one. And these guys are going to do all the talking for once. So uh, I'm Black Spiresny. I work on the SDK team. I don't know if they can see you. Yeah, you're a little. Uh, I moved in a little bit. Okay. Uh, I'm Johnny Nelson. Uh, recent hire. I'm going to be building the recommender system uh, for Odyssey. Uh, and I'm Jack Robeson. I work on the uh, the SDK, and which is what uh, the desktop app uses. What's an SDK? Uh, a software development kit, which is kind of a misleading name for it, I guess. But uh, but uh, yeah. So uh, and I'm currently working on the uh, uh, the hub server, which is the thing that uh, the desktop clients use to uh, use their wallets, and it's also the thing that Odyssey uses uh, ultimately. All right. All right. Yeah, we're we're all in town because so we're a fully remote company, but you know we get together every once in a while. So it's lucky that we're doing the same day. We're, we're all here. All right. I'm gonna start going through more questions now. If you have questions, um, you can put them in chat. I've got a lot. I'm trying to keep track of. So maybe uh, you know maybe put a put a library credit on them and make sure I, I see it. 
I promise it will go to a good cause. Uh, but I'm going to take some ones that came in earlier on the comment threads uh, on Odyssey and over Twitter. So the first question is, um, is Odyssey open source? Um, partially, mostly. Um, so the, the library pieces that Odyssey uses, those are open source. And then parts of the code that Odyssey itself has are open source, but not everything is. Here's, um, a, here's another way we can answer this. Is if, raise your hand if what you work on is open, open source. And it and probably will be. It will be, it yeah. Will be. It's not yet, but it will be. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's parts of Odyssey that are not open source for reasons like um, it just makes it harder to scam us. Yeah. All right. And what what technologies uh, do are used for, for building Odyssey? So what languages or key pieces of software do you use in your, in your work? Just go around again. Python. PyCharm. Python. That way. Python, PyCharm, <laughs> BIM. TM Banner. Uh, C++ is the old blockchain, and now it's Go. Yeah, all right, well, but you can't drop a phrase like old block. You already probably caused like 10 <laughs> people to ask a question when you say old blockchain. So why don't, you, why don't you elaborate a little bit what you're doing by saying that? Uh, so BTCD is a Go implementation of Bitcoin. And we're utilizing that to build a Go implementation of the library blockchain to correspond to the existing library card. So it's, it's more implementation of blockchain, but should be more maintainable, especially by this group. Same blockchain, different implementation. Yes, yeah. Roy? Um, I think Brendan already answered. <laughs> 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 Do you use all the same things? Yes. Yeah. Jessup? We use JavaScript and React in front end. Tom, when you, when you program, what do you use? Um, I do a lot of SQL, so I use like my, uh, SQL Workbench <laughs> and a lot of the Golang and other uh, tools. Alex? Um, I program mostly in Go and Python. So for Odyssey, I guess that was the question. Odyssey backend is primarily Go. Odyssey frontend is primarily React, JavaScript. Um. All right. Uh, next question uh, is, what's coming next? What what features are we going to see next? And we'll go around again for this one. Although in this case, we kind of got the answer from you guys. You're working on the, the Go implementation of, of the blockchain. So why don't we pick it up with Jessup? What's what's coming next on desktop? And you can answer for yourself and other team members. Everyone that, not every engineer is here. There's um, a, a decent amount of people that aren't here. So Jessup, there, there are three other people doing a lot of work on Jessup's team and, and they're not here. So Jessup's got to answer for all of them. Wow, I gotta, I gotta go for the, uh, I'm gonna go get Victor. <laughs> can't believe we forgot Victor for this. We have some, some uh, Stripe improvements coming. We have some playlist improvements coming. The settings page is, is going to be uh, upgraded completely very, very soon. Um, there's so much that, that it's tough to keep track of. We want to add thumbnail sprites, so like when you're scrubbing across a video to different uh, places, you'll, you'll see a preview of it. Yeah. And um, yeah. automatic subtitles is another thing we've been kind of playing around with. Jack, what's coming next for you? Uh, new implementation of the hub and integrating in the, uh, there's a service called, probably maybe the next thing would be uh, joining Lighthouse and the hub claim search. Uh, currently, Odyssey does uh, some related content. Uh, it, it shows like related content on the side of a thing, and that is running through uh, a thing that is a service that Odyssey runs, and it's not something that the, uh, the distributed part of the network runs, and that's to be changed. So another team member has joined us. <laughs> this is Victor. Yeah. Welcome, Victor. Right yeah. Yeah. It's good and Victor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, now that you missed everyone's answer, what's coming next, uh, Alex? Um, well, I I actually don't do that much programming anymore. I kind of spend more time thinking about longer term projects. So 
What I've been doing recently is uh, two things. One is trying to figure out a better way to do um, wallets and transferring wallets around, doing more client-side syncing. And the other one is identity on library. You know, we have Odyssey, it's our biggest app. You, you can have a channel, you can have an identity on Odyssey, but it would be great if you could take your identity with you to other apps on library. So that's, uh, we're calling it library.id. I kind of um, dropped a hint about that on Twitter a while ago. And as I keep working on it, I'll try and post more and more about what we're thinking. All right, and I am, when I get a good question, I'm gonna jump, uh, so I got, a, I got a great one here. It's the largest donation yet, and I'd really like to hear the answer to this. How much LBC for Jessup to join the Ball Engineers Club? <laughs> yeah, we get a um, on that? I, I had a little bit of a, an accident um, uh, this, this uh, <laughs> last week, and uh, I don't know how much farther I'm going to go with that. Yeah, how much that will LBC? I don't. Th some things don't have a price. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but your haircut does. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to jump back to the previous questions. Uh, this one's, I think, also for you, although maybe if anyone else has an opinion as to whether or not we should do this, will Odyssey ever get channel designs with channel backgrounds like, like old YouTube? And this is from Kazuka. Kakuza, sorry. Yeah, my, um, we, have a, we have a cover image currently in the, uh, the claim uh, data type and you want to mock something up that that you think can use that cover image on Figma or something? Uh, uh, try it out. We we do want to redesign that channel page definitely. That is uh, that's one of the benefits of being open source is you can always give that fallback answer of if you do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. The stream is dying. We'll even pay I you. I got a it. message that says the stream is dying for everyone. It died twice. It died twice. Came back up after refresh. Okay, okay. I think. I think I know. Um, I think I know what caused that. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I think it was a bad idea to access the stream while I was watching it. Maybe. Um, okay. Uh, just click play again. I guess you won't, won't, you won't be able to hear me saying that. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, the next question is also from. I think it's from the same user. It's also from Kakuza. Will. Uh, Will library or Odyssey ever add DMs? Uh, so uh, we've uh, for a little while thought about how to do that in library desktop, but hasn't really progressed very far, but something that I'm interested in doing. Um, you can kind of DM somebody right now if you send them a, uh, we have this peer-to-peer uh, -peer, uh, part of the desktop app, it's called um, the DHT, it's how you look up data, uh, and you can send uh, somebody who you know a, uh, a packet, and if it can't decode, it'll print it out in the log, and so me and Victor DM each other that way sometimes. <laughs> okay, so maybe yeah. not the most user-friendly part of the app. <laughs> look, the that. internet also started this way. So <laughs> if you were able to DM someone back then, you can do it now in library. Well, we have a new a new top donation question. This is from uh, Nathan IF or Nathan Nathan Sifu Gaming. Uh, the live feature is great, but will there ever be a page or section dedicated to current live streams? I'm gonna give that one to, to Tom. What's our answer to that? What's the question? Um, so right now we actually do feature all the live streams across the home pages. So if there's there's channels that you see in a category and they're live, they'll show up at the front of that category page. And that also includes the Wild West category. Um, so most of the things that you see live on Odyssey at the moment, or you know, all of them pretty much should be on one of those pages. Um, and, if, and if you follow channels, um, those channels will, will show as live at the front of your feed. Is there a page that collects all of the live streams that are currently on? Nope. That, that's what he was asking. That's so no, we don't do that yet. It might happen in the future. We might, have, yeah, we might make that happen in the future. It also might be prioritized for recommendations uh, at some point in the near future. We've got another donation question from Barry. Can we implement, I like we, Barry's yeah. part of our team. Uh, I think it's Barry's birthday, by the way. Yeah. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Barry! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> can, can Odyssey implement the 10% jump in video controls via shortcuts? 
like some other video sites have. Should, what is that? What does that mean? That should work. Le, uh, <coughs> J, J and L should do that for you. All right. We don't, we don't make it clear enough in the video player that it's possible. Boom, we already got it. Hit, hit, J, hit J and L. It are, it's already there. Hit J right now. You can go in the future on this live stream. I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know we had that feature. I, I don't know if it works in the live stream, <laughs> but it definitely works in the other videos. Okay. All right. Um, next question is from Hedda Henrik and came in through Odyssey. Will the library app ever be able to upload to other sites, sort of like the YouTube Sync program, but in reverse, you publish to library and it goes out to, to other places? Um, yes, we would love to do that. And it's, uh, it's next on the list for YouTube Sync. You know, we're trying to give creators as much flexibility as, as we can. Um, some creators like to post just to library. Some creators like to post to several services, and we'd like to do that. Um, if if it doesn't happen, most likely it would be something like YouTube's API doesn't let us do that. They can be pretty strict sometimes. They make it hard to download your videos from them, and I wouldn't be surprised if they had a thing like you can't do it. But if you can, then yeah, it's coming. Wow, a lot of uh, a lot of chat questions coming in. Um, Will the Android app be open source and on F Droid? Already is. The Odyssey app or the Ant or the library app? Uh, yeah. The library app already is. The um, Odyssey app will be uh, will be as well. Yeah. And Yes, yeah, easy one. <laughs> I'm breaking the rules. I we are the also question. reading the chat. Uh, oh you guys are? If you guys yeah, if you wanna, yeah. I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any chance for increasing comment depth above four? This is from McGravier. And that That's maybe just new, absolutely impossible. Our new There's no way to do that. <laughs> We're gonna get our best people on that. Yeah. Um, I we I just saw in the comment thread that that someone has hacked a way of doing this. So maybe you can go out and find uh, find this guy's this guy's piece of software. Maybe he can PR it. We'll merge it. Yeah. And. This, this one's an easy one. This one's for Johnny. It's from a user named Broke. He said, are you working on ML-based recommendation systems similar to those that run on YouTube? Are we? Is that we, happening? Uh, we're slowly gearing up towards YouTube. Right now, it's a little simpler than that. But yeah, it's all ML-based. Um, and again, we are going to try to have this all open source. It's just for Odyssey, it can't be open data yet because it's not the right place for it. And eventually, Grin really wants us to be able to uh, make a distributed Rexus so it works with library, but that's yeah, that's a future roadmap too, because that's actually very hard not to leak information. Yeah. ML sets for monkey learning, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, new, a new record donation here from Anarchast. Uh, it's not a question, but I'm going to break the rules on this one. He says, I want to thank every single member uh, of the team. You guys are doing absolutely vital work, and not even for video producers, you're literally changing the world. Thank you for supporting my channels and my associations with my viewers. And then there's some hearts oh, at the end of that. That's very nice. Could, but next time, save it for the tell me anything. It's an ask me. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not trying to, there's some questions that are coming in that aren't about the tech, and I'm not trying to avoid those. It's because this is a tech and a. So like, Questions that are on like business side or questions about moderation, like they're just not the people here. These aren't the people here working on those problems. I could potentially answer them, but but this is a tech AMA, so I'm not going to. Uh, but you can. Well, maybe I'll do another AMA later, or we'll find a way of of doing this. Um, all right, we have Pity Serenade from Germany. He says, "Is there going to be a feature? Is there a feature to kind of sort by language um, yes. when watching content?" You can do that currently. It's supported by both. Claim search in desktop app and by Lighthouse, but it might not be all the way exposed. <laughs> tech AMA, you said it's a tech AMA. This, this is the gap between asking a back end engineer or something. <laughs> like that. And, uh, so, Tom, do you want to elaborate on that, Tom or Jessa? Um, so, so, there is a setting in, on the settings page that once you change your, your, uh, your app language, that you could only uh, return search in that language, but it doesn't apply to all the areas yet. Um, so we're still working on that. Um, and as a region has more content, what we've been doing is setting up home pages for those regions. So again, if you go to the settings page, you'll see some other home pages for um, for Brazilian content, French content, Chinese. I think that's the that's the biggest ones we have. 
Uh, so that's probably the best way to explore right now, but, but we hope to add more languages as we continue to grow our ca content catalog. This one is for anyone, whoever wants to venture. This is going to be recorded and then published to a blockchain, so you might not be able to escape <laughs> your answer to this question. So think carefully if you want to answer it. How many peanuts go into a jar of peanut butter? And this is from the Red Knock. No, this is from our daily protest. Anyone want to venture a guess? What size jar? Um, let's go with, I don't know, like a standard <laughs> consumer, I don't know, like Are eight, we talking crunchy or 2,500. 20, 2,500? We've got That's an anchor. Ridiculous. Is that crunchy <laughs> or creamy? 2,500 won. <laughs> it's just not No way. <laughs> no way. Anyone else want to go on record with their guess? Wisdom of crowds would say if we average all of our answers, yeah. we'll get so I'm going to go under. Under? Yeah. Under, what's I'm going to go 400. Yeah, 400? I think it's something like three or 400. Okay. Anyone else want to record their answer? I go with yeah. 1,200. Are we going to get this? Do they know? Are we going to get some peanut butter? <laughs> <laughs> I, the, the question answer, the question asker is not, uh, is not in, it may not be in chat. So that one came in earlier. All right. I'm Can trying to keep up. Well, we've got a lot of new donation questions. Um, Matty Ander wants to know more about the um, the future of the library data network and and the peer-to-peer -peer network. Like, sort of, what kind of work is 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 happening there? Uh, so Lex has been working on uh, a first go at uh, a disk space management setting. I so actually, just merged it. Oh, cool! Right, so right, it's released. Yeah, it's out. Um, so that uh, and as that feature is like expanded out, that will let people uh, set aside an amount of disk space uh, in order to host stuff for other people so that they don't have to uh, download all the stuff intentionally and uh, keep it. Um, it's currently sort of manual where you have to download the stuff that you want to post. Um, yeah. All right, we have, this is more of a suggestion, but he did give 10 LBC and it's tech related, so I'll read it. And uh, this is from uh, Joseph Stalin. Joseph, I didn't mispronounce it. It's, uh, and it's Odyssey needs a blocked word feature so that I can filter out uninteresting stuff that I want, don't want or want to avoid. You can block tags. Yeah. Block gotcha. tags to, right. You can currently block tags. Thank you for the uh, suggestion. You can Thank currently you. include support tags in the app. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just like languages. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, we have uh, this is a comment slash question from uh, Broke. Uh, he's suggesting that we look at um, something called Singularity.net for decentralized AI task handling. Um, but he also wants to know what's going to be happening to, to bridge to the EVM ecosystem, the, the Ethereum ecosystem, and everything happening there, um, so that library can be found on, on Uniswap and similar and similar dApps. I think maybe Tom and Grim could potentially comment on that. So yeah. we've actually been experimenting with that a little bit. Um, so there's there's other projects out there that do this concept called token wrapping. Um, so that's how you would get library token from our blockchain to one of these other blockchains. So we do have one implementation of it out now, and it's it's on the Binance Smart Chain. Um, if you send me an email, Tom at library.com, I could I could send you some more info about that. It's not it's not fully out there yet, um, but it is possible to use. So you could wrap some LBC onto Binance Smart Chain and then use their use their Uniswap equivalent, which is pancake swap to, to swap between other tokens. So bef before we go full on with that, we want to want to make that process as uh, as as easy as possible from our apps, and we want to we want to find ways to encourage others to to get involved with it also. Yeah, but it it is out there, and the same. So we did it through P Network, and uh, they also do EVM. Wrapping, yeah. right? So, so so yeah, they they did the Binance Smart Chain. We thought that was a good first test because it's really easy to and cheap to transact on Binance Smart Chain, whereas Ethereum, you have to pay large fees to do so. Um, but, but they would be able to support both chains in the future. All right. Is, is this one's from uh, Nathan Sifu Gaming again. Uh, will we consider adding O embeds? I actually don't know what those are. Me neither. Okay. This familiar. is a tech team, so I'm a lot to know. I think it's something like embedding what things like Right. I, I really don't know, actually. We'll, we'll look at it. Considering it, Maybe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Uh, a lot of people are now just turning this into into future requests. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is a question. You just put a question mark at the end of this. Hey, this is just a, this, is a, this is just a sentence that I now have to raise, give inflection to at the end. Um, a feature to sort my growing list of subscriptions into categories, which can be tabbed through on the sidebar. Um. Make it a show on GitHub. <laughs> we've, got, we've, got, we've got that one on the to, long to-do list. Yeah. Which repo should they make the issue in? Uh, desktop. It's there. Um, question from Skywalker about the future of incentivized seeding. That's a bright and glorious future. Data payments exist but are at zero, and we have to make that work better. All right. Um, from the redneck preppy, yeah, is the is the is there ever going to be a Roku, an official Roku app, an official? Um, so yeah, we are actually working on that actively. Uh, so we want to get something out a little quicker. So we re- uh, we work with somebody to create an unofficial one that didn't support login, kind of as a proof of concept. Um, now that now that we got got our feet wet there, um, we're working with this individual to create an official one, which will support your your account login, you know, your follow channels. And it's going to have a nice, uh, nice redesign as well, and also support live streaming. So that's going to be exciting. It's in progress. I don't think we have any ETAs, but it seems like there's some good progress made. Okay, and from uh, from Rachel BTC Smith on Twitter, uh, what's your favorite? What's your favorite channel that you can watch on on the network? Should we go around? Yeah, go around. If you, no, you don't have to answer, so maybe we'll just go popcorn style. So just name one if you want to, if you want to shout out any any creators that you like. Veritasium. Salty Cracker. I love Veritasium. Axel. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? Andreas um, Antonopoulos. Andreas Antonopoulos. Junior Egg. Junior Egg. Uh, also, Late Night Weird is my favorite, under most underrated channel. Anyone else? Uh, I, I'm really happy that we got Lewis Rossman on there, um, fighting all the good battles. He's most of it. And McQuest. And McQuest. McQuest. Um, I watch Brett Weinstein on Odyssey every once in a while. There's, a, there's also a bunch of music channels. Like I don't remember specific names. I think Magnetica does a bunch of music. Right. Cow fam. <laughs> <laughs> that channel's secret. Julian C. <laughs> Gotta check out his latest vlog. Um, once Odyssey reaches critical mass, Apple, Google will start demanding censorship of videos and whole channels as a condition of staying in their app stores. So it's a pertinent question how a deleted video will remain available once it's been removed from, from Odyssey. And this is from Marlinus R. Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, we, Google and Apple own their app stores, and uh, there's like, if they really don't want you to do something, there's not all that much you can do about it, right? They can just kick you out unilaterally. That's kind of the antithesis of library. But we we would like our apps to be available. People like them. So uh, we'll do our best. If they say that there's certain things you have to do to stay in the app store, we'll have to figure out if those things are compatible. Like if you know if we're okay with that or not. Um, this also we talked about Odyssey versus Library. This answer depends on if you're talking about Odyssey or Library. Library would be more um, prone to the, like the decentralization answer. To the you know we're, we're going to take a more principled stance versus Odyssey is more about um, you know focused on more mainstream kind of like okay we'll be in the app store if they're, what they're asking for is not as you know not absurd need more people like Mattyator to run their own hubs and have people on desktop connecting to them. That's true. Also, hey, if you're on Android, the answer is easy. Just use Android. Yeah, I also think we'd always, if in, if we have to, in the case of Android, we would, if they forced us to modify the the app, we'd release a, a, APKs that, that contain gotcha. modified yeah. versions. Yeah. And, okay, uh, from uh, Minar, Minar, Minar GPU. Hi guys, can you modify the notifications button to float and not load a new window? 
Oh, that's also one of my future requests. <laughs> we'll put it on the long list. Right. Our new second largest uh, donation is from Linux Gamer, so he's hanging out, but all he had to say was words. So I don't know if anyone wants to respond to him. But it is the second largest donation now, so I gotta, I gotta mention it. Um, some more people with some, um, some comments, you know, just encouraging us. Odyssey is awesome. Keep up the great work. Uh, we have some questions about pornography. I'm not trying to avoid those. They're just not tech related. The, um, Skywalker asks, is there a public endpoint for the library SDK? I would like to build a Flutter app, but I don't want to ship library net along with it. I think that's a great question. How can, how can someone like that build an app? Doesn't library.tech have that? It. Not it, that may exist for that, that purpose, but it's not really intended for, for, for general use. So o the Odyssey and who used to be Library TV, they, they all connect to public, um, you could call them, um, library endpoints. Um, so there is API. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head now, it actually changed. It used to be a lot easier. Uh, but there is a way to, uh, to, query the, to query a lot of the library endpoints over over a public API. Yeah, and you could also run I'll, I'll your own SDK chat. exposed publicly and have stuff connect to it if you wanted to. Yeah, that's what I would suggest. Go on AWS, rent a server for 10 bucks a month and run the SDK. Or not um, AWS, something better than AWS. Sure, go on, it'd be nice if we had Infra. Infra. Vulture. What's that? It'd be nice if we had in, like, something like Infra. Yeah, I don't know if that would work with Live right now. Like, that would be just for blockchain data. I don't think they do the DHT part of it or like downloading files. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you you can always run a copy of the SDK and make it available for users of your app. We so we have one that is running on library.tech, but it's kind of up and down. It's not something we like plan to maintain and, and definitely not production grade. Not something I would build an app on top of. Okay. Uh, so but hey, if you're trying to build a Flutter app, you should definitely reach out to us. We have some Flutter fans in the audit in the <laughs> around the table here, <laughs> and happy to talk about it. Flutter evangelists. Yeah, that's true. So maybe that's something that would be a good library tech article or something like this. I mean, I think that's a good question. Someone wants to build an app, but for their use case, shipping the SDK is, is trickier. They want to avoid it for certain reasons. What should they do? Right. Because um, that's what we've had to do with Odyssey. That's how Odyssey works. And it sounds like our team is also saying if you reverse engineer how we do it, uh, we'll let you get away with that, uh, at least for the time being. Although I, I can't, I don't want to make an indefinite promise yeah. uh, of that either. Um, There's yeah. also some tricky things there. Like, are your users going to be downloading files? And if they are, it's going to end up on your again on your server. Like, how would that work? You could run, you could run your SDK on uh, in uh, save files, save blobs, both false, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it'll have, everything will be in memory, and you can use the streaming endpoint on that. So. All right, we have a question from Lone Sentry. It says, will the Odyssey, uh, this is about Odyssey Android, but maybe, maybe Tom can answer it. Will the, uh, uh, will the Odyssey Android app be hybrid and allow us to host seed our own content after upload? The Odyssey Android app probably will be more of like a light client, um, so it won't be able to do that. If you want to do that, you'll probably have to run the uh, library Android app. All right. And um, from McGravier for for, I'm going to give this to Jessup. Are there plans for tabs in the library desktop app? Uh, tabs within the tab that you're using? <laughs> within the, in the library tab. desktop. In library <laughs> desktop. Uh, is, it, is the issue, do you have the issue? Sounds like there is an no. issue file. <laughs> <laughs> the issue file. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's our standard for are there plans. Yeah. Sounds like maybe one day. Um, we have some questions about how peanut butter relates to tech. I'm getting some pushback that maybe that was an inappropriate question to yeah, ask you guys. So does anyone want to defend me? Well, there's, accounting, there's accounting aspect to it, so. Yeah, I think peanut butter, never mind. We used an algorithm to figure out the answer. And tech is all about algorithms. Also, what else do you guys eat when you code? Um, all right. Hey, I'm not. I'm not trying to avoid SEC questions. I think anyone who's seen my interviews knows that I'm happy to talk about it. But it's just. It's just not tech stuff. So I'm. I'm skipping them. All right. Um, got. Uh, this is not a question, but but I will state it on video that at least since it's at least it's a feature request <laughs> that Dynapix Studio would like to see improvements in channel analytics. 
wants more feedback on how his channel is performing. Um, For 100 LBC, Jeremy will say anything on this call. <laughs> <laughs> I probably will. Uh, <laughs> uh, Aaron Kasparov wants to know more about library censorship. Um, so, like, how, how just maybe just talk more about how does our, you know, some, some organization wa really wants something to be censored. Um, or, or government even, you know, what, what, you know, how do we fight back against that? How does our technology stop that or make it harder? Um, well, we could take it kind of layer by layer because, uh, I mean, library and Odyssey are kind of stacked on top of each other and different things happen in different layers. So if you start at the bottom at the blockchain layer, it works pretty much the same way that Bitcoin works, which is that it's about distributed consensus. It's not something that any one organization or person can go and just change unilaterally. That's the magic of blockchains. So if there's an entry in our blockchain that says there's a certain, there's a video and some government, you know, says this video is uh, needs to be taken down, that's they would have to go and um, get a bunch of mining power and reorg the blockchain to do that. Um, and similarly with the DHT, it's you know it's decentralized. Then Going up the layer on that, I mean, we do, we are a U.S. company. We have to follow U.S. law. So if the U.S. government before um, that there's hubs, before that there's hubs, yeah. Well, so at the hub is, I guess, the layer where that happens. So if um, we run our own hubs, which is what Odyssey uses, which is what um, the apps use by default, and you're welcome to change hubs and run your own hub. Again, Mediator is doing a great job running his, and we're trying to make it easier for everyone to run them. If you're using our hubs, our hubs will follow. Um, US law. So we will, in the hubs themselves, there's a way of saying this content is not, you know, won't be returned in search results, won't be returned in uh, resolves. And so if there's content that we're legally required to block, it won't show up there. Um, and then going, I guess, even higher up the stack, Odyssey um, is similar, but Odyssey even has, um, you know, like there's, there's certain content that is totally fine and available on the library network that's not an Odyssey just for kind of stylistic or thematic community reasons standards. for community standards for like even just for organizing right like there's a you can go to the wild west and it's more um open than other categories but some categories are like this is what's in this category whereas if you go to something like library there's tags but there aren't like specifically curated categories um, so i guess the unifying theme is we want to give people options um, while still obeying the law Thanks. I'm probably going to do about another 10 to 15 minutes of this. So if you've got questions that you haven't asked yet, get them in. And Keyboard Stick asks, can autoplay pull videos from favorites or from notifications? That's potentially for Jess and potentially for, for Johnny because his work is going to impact autoplay as well. Um, it, it, I think... Um, yeah, I think if you're on favorites, autoplay will drop the next favorite in the list as long as it's playable uh, right now. Um, we're working on that, making that better. Uh, we have the drop PL working on that. Yep, so there's there's more controls coming uh, for the for the autoplay next and what you see in the in the sidebar there. So you'll be able to like randomize stuff or sort it in um, order of release time. Um, so that's in the pipeline. Yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at too. No extension there. Okay. All right, Glenn is Glenn would like to know uh, if Library Desktop could get a network page uh, to show how much files have been downloaded and seeded and how much bandwidth is being used. I answered that in the chat. That's in LibrarNet status already. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> again. So therefore, it's done. <laughs> but it's per session. It's not historical. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's true. It is um, per session. It's not. For it's not total uploaded and downloaded. Uh, I think what you're learning here is that even within library, it's not a unified thing. There's different people with different um, things that they spend a lot of time thinking about. And you might get different answers depending on who you ask. There's features that get prioritized in different teams. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Nathan Sifu Gaming uh, was, is wondering if we could add um, an import from YouTube URL feature. Actually, that's that's a pretty good one. Yeah, that's that Nathan. The the, tr the problems with that are as much uh, sort of regulatory as they are technical. Um, but but we could look at that. Yeah. Nathan, what are you doing in your spare time? Come yeah. talk to us. <laughs>
uh, True Aura Coral uh, has a question about um, terminal clients. He would like to consume library content from from his terminal. How could how could he do that? He can run library net from command line. And he can open up his browser and go to uh, localhost fifty two eighty slash get slash a name, and you'll stream it in browser. Also, there's fast library terminal app. <laughs> um, you should check it out. But the library net daemon has a built in. Uh, uh, streaming content server in it that works to the browser and it is a terminal program you can interact with it over CLI so do we need a library of links uh, yeah, that's oh. what I was just thinking does that work there's a video to ASCII plugin I'm sure you can figure it out uh, Mattyator is concerned about the future of the desktop app um, with how much attention Odyssey is getting um, we have no plans to end the desktop app or, or like get rid of it in any way. You know, we'd like to keep it going. It's for for library, not for Odyssey. Setting Odyssey aside, the desktop app is the main way people use library. Um, so yeah, we we're gonna keep supporting it. We're gonna keep improving it. I don't know if it's gonna improve at the same rate as Odyssey. Depends on how many people are working on it. But again, it's open source. It's something that anyone can help out on. I've done two or three RCs this week. Hope, hope to get a, an actual release out that fixes a bunch of bugs from the last few months. Um, and I, I tend to keep on uh, improving the desktop app. The thing that'll make us improve the desktop app the most will be hearing from you guys that you use it and love it. That's the most motivating thing for us. So if you're using it, you know, let us know. Uh, there are a number of people um, that would like us to know that the salty army is here, and that, <laughs> hey, the, salt, army. And that the salt must flow. Mm. No. They're not delicious. They're not. Qu they're not asking questions. That so. means they're going to make us cry. Is that what that means? I don't know. I thought they wanted I us to get some means. salted vinegar chips. Um, Anarch Anar Anar Anarchist has a question about how one would write a bot that would go to Discord, Matrix, places like that, and notify when new content is, has been published. How, how could you connect those two things? Um, you can listen to notifications on a WebSocket, or you can run the SDK, and it doesn't do notifications, right? But you could just check every block what's available. Should make an issue to get notifications in the SDK. I go back into my pre-submitted bag, how does one mine LBC? With a pickaxe? I was going to ask that, <laughs> if, that uh, Brandon and Roy haven't gotten a question here in a long time. The blockchain can do the most important work, and no one, they don't get any questions. So, so how, how does one mine LBC? You can mine it with CPU power or GPU power or with ASIC devices. I believe all the mining is done with ASIC devices at the moment. Uh, exactly how to get your hands on one of those, I'm not sure. Uh, Goldshell sells them. If you uh, Google Goldshell LBC miner, although I think their most recent miner just sold out. Yeah, they go in and out of stock, so you don't want to get hundred pieces. Right? Hundred so devices. Email them yeah. demanding they make more. It means the price needs to go up, right? And email other ASIC manufacturers telling them to make their own versions. Yeah, so that's what. That's if you want to mine with a GPU or a CPU, there's the mining repositories on our GitHub page, and. They tend to fall out of date because we only use them to test sometimes. So if there's an issue, we can work on it. All right, I may have this be the last question. And I do want everyone to answer this. I want, I want you to answer it genuinely. What do you think the blue pants means? This is someone asked. Someone asked, "What does the blue pants mean in chat?" I thought that they were Victor's pants. He lost his pants. <laughs> I thought that we put them on the site for him in case he ever wants to get them back. Does anyone else want to speculate what the blue pants? We all work from home and probably don't have pants on most <laughs> of the time. It's too cold for a short. It's unclear whether I'm wearing any pants right now. <laughs> anyone it, else? It's a reference to how Rick Astley was dressing in that one video. That's it. Yeah, you're being <laughs> red gold when you see the blue pants. All right. Uh, 
I guess, you know, the truth may, may or may not have been there in, in, one, of those, in one of those answers. But I think we're going to wrap it up. So thank you, everyone, uh, for your questions. Thank you so much to, for all the, the kind feedback and compliments. It's really motivating. It's really motivating to all of us. And the, we've had a great week here together. Um, this is only, this isn't, I don't even think this is half of the people who are working on, on tech. Uh, on the tech here. Um, this is just some of us who were able to get together this week. And that doesn't even include the dozens of people who are contributing, uh, who are contributing via um, just directly to the repositories. They're not actually employed by us. Um, that is awesome. So if you've been listening to this and you're an engineer yourself, whether you want to work on the, the core work that we're doing or whether you want to build your own external tools or third party stuff, that's awesome. Um, we support all of it. You can go to lbry.tech to learn more about that. Um, but every, we, you know, basically everything we're doing is open source and so much of the progress we're making comes from people who are contributing. So thank you, uh, thank you especially to those people as well. Um, we're all really uh, um, appreciative of you. And some of the people here that are working here got started that way. Uh, so that's also a possibility. So thank you to everyone. Thank you for supporting us and have a great day. And the best is yet to come. The best <laughs> is yet to come. <laughs> Thanks guys.